Artificial intelligence is making it easy for college kids to cheat. Need to write a five-page paper on the classic The Great Gatsby? Done. Just tell an AI chatbot to do it for you. Need to write a 10-page paper on gene editing in human beings for a final exam? Easy. Just enter a one-sentence prompt. AI tools like ChatGPT, Jasper AI, and Humata AI are making it effortless to write Hemingway-like essays and get straight A's. Heck, it even makes low IQ students, the ones that don't know how many weeks there are in a year, it's in a year, dang it. I <laughs> look like the next William Shakespeare. Now, do you want to see how this blatant cheating is pissing off professors? Do you want to learn the brutal solutions teachers are using to prevent it? And do you want to find out why college essay assignments will no longer be a thing in the not too distant future? Well, by the end of this video, you'll have the answers to those questions. Plus, you'll see how one professor freaks out when he discovers that most of his students are cheating with AI. The other day, my niece, who is in high school, texted me completely out of the blue. She knows I make AI YouTube videos. Please subscribe and knows I have an AI email newsletter called Fry AI. She wanted to know if I knew of any AI tools that could help her write her history class research paper. She obviously knew about ChatGPT, but too many of her friends were using that and her teachers were catching on. So as a responsible and disciplined uncle, I told her that using AI was completely unethical and it shouldn't be used to write her essay. Just kidding, as the irresponsible, fun-loving, and crazy uncle that I am, I told her to check out Claude.ai. And just to be clear, I don't have any affiliation with Claude and I'm not making any money from it. It's just a great AI chatbot. Now, Claude isn't the most cutting edge writing tool out there and a lot of people have already heard about it, but Claude is free and most of my niece's friends weren't using it at the time which meant she had a better chance of going undetected by her teachers. And before a portion of you say I'm some kind of evil person for doing this, I'll tell you why you're dead wrong a little later in this video. But before I do that, you have to understand, it's not just my niece that's using AI chatbots to cheat on research papers. There's millions of kids cheating. One professor offered his students amnesty if they admitted to using ChatGPT in their assignments. And 23 out of 25 students replied that they did. Another study showed that 56% of college students admitted using AI on take-home assignments. As you can see, AI cheating is exploding in popularity. And with kids increasingly turning to college like a once-in-a-lifetime vacation experience, this is the best school I've ever fucking been to! Instead of a place to learn, it's not surprising why so many students are turning to AI to cheat. Hitting up the bars and playing beer pong in their dorm is more important to them. I mean, students only get the college experience once in their lives. Why not live it up? Can you blame them? Especially since some colleges are building facilities nicer than some hotels in the Caribbean. Hey, Inside Edition, welcome to our designer dorm room. Colleges are basically becoming party resorts disguised as learning institutions. Parties, parties! And while many kids, even the ones that might be one fry short of a Happy Meal, are using AI to trick their teachers, ace their tests, and look like the next Hemingway, all of this cheating could be short-lived. One of the reasons for that is college professors are getting triggered and losing their minds over this problem. This professor goes off the hook when he finds out that most of his students used AI to cheat. I caught half of you using ChatGPT for the last essay, so guess what? Your final essay is now 50 pages. So with the pushback from universities and professors themselves, AI crackdowns are starting to infiltrate colleges across the country. Stanford University recently implemented a policy that explicitly bans the use of generative AI tools to substantially complete assignments or exams. And some teachers have went even farther. Some teachers have stopped assigning take-home research papers completely. Instead, they've turned their classrooms into what they call flipped classrooms, meaning students are responsible for doing their research in their dorms and then using that research to write papers and essays in class without the use of any technology whatsoever. Some teachers even go so far as making students write the papers by hand, making it impossible to cheat with tools like Claw.ai. Uh, can you say hand cramp? 
I mean, if I had to do that, my teacher wouldn't be able to read one single word of my chicken scratch writing. They'd honestly flunk me no matter how great my paper was. Other teachers have used AI detection tools like GPT-0, Originality.ai, and Turnitin. Professors will run their students' essays through these tools, and the tools will, in turn, tell them if any essays were written by AI. The problem is that tools like these are only 80% effective. There's even more problems associated with these AI detection tools. One is that they can be gamed by students with tools like undetectable.ai. It essentially tricks GPT-0 into thinking essays are written by a human. Another problem with AI detection tools is that sometimes they flag human written papers as AI generated, even though they're not. There's hundreds of posts on Reddit complaining how their professors falsely accuse them of using AI. As evident from these examples, none of the current solutions that prevent AI cheating seem to be the answer. So what the heck is the answer? Just let college kids cheat and use it to write 10 page long research papers for them? Just let kids binge drink and party instead of learning something? Well, to be honest, I think professors and universities should allow their students to use AI tools 100% of the time and completely unrestrained. Here's why. Lazy students are always gonna do whatever it takes to cheat. Their time outside of the classroom is so sacred that most kids will do anything to protect that. They'll use the latest anti-AI detection tools like undetectable.ai and always be one step ahead of their teachers. Professors should instead let their students use tools like ChatGPT and Perplexity however they like, outside of the classroom. Let them use it as a research tool or in any way they like. Inside the classroom will be a different story. The classroom will be less of a lecture and be more like a sports arena where students can show off their skills that they've been practicing outside of the classroom. In this case, a history professor could instruct his students to do as much research as possible about the Spanish-American War and the students will be quizzed one-on-one -on -one by the teacher for 10 minutes or so in live dialogue in front of the class. This format is essentially a return to the Socratic method of ancient Greece and would eliminate LLM-based cheating. Why don't I just give you a lecture? Because through my questions, you learn to teach yourselves. Through this method of questioning, answering, questioning, answering, we seek to develop in you the ability to analyze that vast complex of facts that constitute the relationships of members within a given society. The system would make a lot of sense. That's because the more AI exponentially grows in popularity, the more humans are going to long for human-to-human -human interactions. AI content is going to be so omnipresent and exhausting that the only escape from it is unplugging from technology and talking to human beings face to face. This will carry over to the classroom as well. Testing a student's intellect will no longer be judged by research papers. Instead, it will be done on a one-on-one -on -one personal basis with the student's teachers. On top of that, AI is going to become so good in the coming years, there'll be no need to write research papers ever again. In the future, the only reason you'd write is to do it as a hobby or for fun. Even Elon Musk agrees. Recently, he's quoted as saying, if you want to do a job that's kind of like a hobby, you can do a job. That same thing will carry over for writing. So for all the haters out there, I'm not some terrible uncle for helping my niece cheat. I'm just helping to push the gas pedal of innovation in the right direction. That's what I'm telling myself, at least. That's it for tonight. If you want to learn more interesting AI perspectives, check out my other vid, AI at the ballot box, our last vote. And if you found this video interesting, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and my free AI email newsletter at fry-ai.com forward slash subscribe. Have a great night. This is Ryan signing out. Take care.